When a starfish loses an arm, it doesn't panic. Instead, it covers the wound with a fresh layer of epidermis within a few days. These epidermal cells rush to the site, forming a protective layer, like laying down a quick tarp to keep the rain out. Now the real magic begins. Quilomocytes, the starfish's immune cells, along with other cells, migrate to the injury site. It's like a cellular flash mob gathering for a spectacular performance. These cells de-differentiate into a more primitive state, ready to take on any role needed. They're like seasoned actors shedding their costumes, ready to play new characters in the regeneration drama. Within one to two weeks, a blastoma forms at the injury site. Think of it as a blueprint for the new arm, several millimeters in diameter, depending on the size of the wound. It's like a miniature construction site popping up overnight, ready to rebuild what's been lost. Guided by the molecular maestros, WNT, Notch, and BMP proteins, the cells in the blastoma begin to differentiate